My name is Kenta Yonasaka, and we're here at Germano Studios in New York City, and I'm a recording engineer here. I can't really remember the first single I've ever bought, but it has to be um, one of these uh, used record stores that my friends and I used to hang out around. It's probably some, uh, you know, punk rock CD, Bad Brains, or Minor Threat, or something like that. Um, yeah, I, I grew up um, in uh, a city called Sapporo in Japan. It's a pretty big city, and there, and there was always a you know a thriving music scene happening. So, um, you know, I I would jump into different scenes and um, you know listen to all types of music that was happening. My very first studio experience I had was um, when I was w with my uh, punk rock band hanging out. So I was I was in that scene in in Sapporo in Japan. And um, yeah, I, we got asked to you know uh, record in a compilation album two songs. So I, yeah, I do remember that when I was probably 15, 16 or so, we got to go into um, you know a, a concert venue after hours, and they had a um, you know an early Pro Tools rig set up, and you know we we're recording. At this point, I've been in the sound engineering world for a, a hot minute. Um, I worked up um, as starting as an intern you know, the assistant engineer, engineer, very traditional route of, you know, kind of going up the studio ranks that a lot of kids my generation really don't get to experience. You know, there's really not many opportunities like that anymore. So I'm very, I'm very glad that, you know, I got to like come up in that manner. I, I did a lot of live sound back then, you know, and, but I was already kind of delving into the, you know, kind of the basic mechanics of the recording world and stuff. You know, I was trying to like rig something, you know, for a show with our live console, and I wanted reverb. So I remember going in through to my little interface into GarageBand, you know, off an aux end, you know, and like tapping off the reverb off that, and then feeding it back in. So I was kind of, you know, I was, I was delving into kind of like that desk, you know, desktop recording world. So a very important part of um, kind of moving to the next level is to be prepared for any moment that comes by. So, um, you know, when you're in a recording studio, there, it's, it's a, the stakes are very high, and the, um, there's lots of high-pressure situations that happen. And, um, and th you know, this is something that, you know, going back, a lot of kids, like, you know, my generation can't get to experience um, when the norm right now is home recording and, you know, a very minimal staff, uh, sessions kind of thing so you know as an assistant engineer I got to you know sit in on these very high pressure you know uh, you know with lots of lots of talent you know lots of moving parts at once you know if if you learn how to manage those situations and you know be prepared for any moment that comes by um, you know I, I think you'll be ready to you know move to that next level. Uh, I don't remember a particular moment where it kind of start clicking, but I, rem I there was definitely a time period where, um, you know, I, I, I had that confidence where I could jump in and, you know, and, and I guess, you know, that's something that it's, it's easily read by people, I guess. So, um, yeah, there, there was a, there was a period um, where, yeah, I would start jumping in on sessions where, you know, whenever there was an extra engineer needed, you know, I was there, um, you know, to put those, you know, 16 hour days in and, um, you know, jumped into, jumped on a, a, every opportunity and, um, yeah, yeah, somehow, somehow got here.